Hello! Welcome guys to my beautiful channel, you beautiful, lovely looking niggas. Today, wait, hold on, speaking of lovely looking niggas, why do I look like a light skin bad Chris Hansen in his 20s, nigga? But anyways, guys, today we're going to be talking about anti-fashion and mocking fashion itself. Now, if you guys have been following me for a while, if you guys have seen my Instagram or came across for it, crumb it. You can see that I'm somewhat of a fake Instagram guru by the simple fact that every clothes that I flex in very odd and crazy ways, I punch or got for free. <laughs> I'm a bad guy. Karma definitely beat my ass. Nigga, they beat my ass. But anyway, Scott. When I got into the realm of it, I actually was taking fashion very serious, which is actually very funny, but my friends would always make fun of my outfits because I'd wear like a Vetmont hoodie, aggressive baggy sweatpants, <laughs> a pair of Yeezy 350s. And I still, to this day, have like over eight pairs. Everyone at this point seems to hate off-whites and they think they're very corny. But as you can see, nigga, I still got my little collection here. There's a lot more where that came from downstairs. But uh, yeah, I still rock these. I still rock old brands that uh, people deemed unworthy anymore. The fashion deep archive avant-garde niggas just pulled up out of nowhere and said, fuck these 350s, wear Ricks. And niggas start wearing Ricks. Fuck Rick. Start going back to the meme fashion and wear Balenciaga. You feel me? My main example of this meme anti-fashion, mocking fashion is my dear friend Spinal Fluids Fits where I host giveaways with that nigga. That nigga, <laughs> we posted some crazy fits that I'm just like, yo, what is going on here? And he ended up getting this huge influence. His account skyrocketed, went through the roof. All these niggas start tagging spinal fluid i'm gonna be i was, I was not gonna lie I'm gonna be, i was the first nigga i was the first nigga like let's let's chill out I was the first nigga i have to say that as my favorite boy but all these niggas just started wearing the minion shirts they started getting crazy with the proportions they wear minion pink tops and brick owen boots nigga they're getting crazy and creative with all these weird fashion senses to me it makes sense because that's like my sort of you feel me? That's my sort of cup of tea. And these niggas is just going crazy and they're just going hard. They're going really crazy. And um, you can see boom, boom, boom. Like all these niggas is just go crazy with these fits. Nigga, I'm just like, oh, chill. And you know, for a while, I actually loved it until it started becoming an over aggressive trend. And you know how much I hate my trends. Nigga, I hate trends to the day I die. Nigga, I'm not going to follow no trends, nigga. But um, a prime example after that uh, of what probably blew this whole thing out of proportion aside from spinal fluids is the fashion house Balenciaga uh, when Demna became Demna Dem, fuck. Demna became the uh, fashion icon notorious for memeing fashion high-end fashion like baggy jeans random weird-ass items uh, reconstructed crazy dad shirts which a lot of people have told me because I'm not big on fashion I'm not a huge fashion nerd I don't know all these years of like what happened them that uh, created all of this got inspiration got big inspiration from when he used to work with Margiela because Margiela was notorious for their reconstruction and all that crazy jazz nigga so I think he interpreted it into all these dad shirts funny ironic things which is why I love that because I used to be I'm quite the meme myself, nigga. Like, niggas make, <laughs> make fun of me. I, I don't even consider myself a nigga anymore. Like, at this point, like, I'm just a walking meme and I'm just a walking joke. It's actually pretty crazy. It's pretty sad, too, nigga. But, um, <laughs> I fuck with uh, Vetma and Balenciaga. I hate that it became a trend. And also, there are a couple people who exploited this side of fashion, including me, Spinal Fluids. There is this other Instagram where I forgot his name. Uh, I'm gonna drop him here. Um, I'm pretty sure I've got a nigga that piece. Uh, but like, please, I'm not, I'm not too sure what the hell is going on with that account. That account is crazy. All respect to that nigga. <laughs> Took the meme uh, side of fashion and ran with it as far as that nigga can. Another example of anti-fashion and like sort of meme fashion that I've, an account I've grown to love is Jake John Ward Howard. I'm pretty sure that's how you say the name. A lot of <laughs> I always mispronounce niggas' user names, or that's how I read shit like that. But that nigga, he be going crazy with the memes. He's bringing back shit that I thought was funny, like and one and stuff like that. But generally, 
speaking, that side of fashion is what is a trend right now. Although I hate trends, unfortunately, this is like the one, uh, not trend, but meme sort of side of fashion that I resonate well because I am not an actual Instagram guru, nigga. I do not care. <laughs> I just take 0.5 uh, fit pics and they get the most outrageous proportions and strange ass things that I think is just funny. But at the same time, I, it's all calculated. You know what I mean? I have to also bring these other counts up like Haunted Starbucks and a lot of other fashion brands like FTI and other brands along those lines also enhance the meme culture of fashion, the meme side of fashion, because they start getting... Uh, very memey, very edgy with their t-shirts. Like, I think there was one that I seen from this brand. I'll insert it here. It's like how to cook meth. That one was crazy, nigga. <laughs> and other shirts like that. Uh, shout out to Spinal Fluids Fits Industries. He's dropping some crazy shirts too and some crazy gear. <laughs> and I wish I wore like a meme shirt for this occasion of topic of conversation. One bad side that I have to say is not only that it became a trend, I'm gonna keep saying, I'm gonna keep reiterating that, nigga, no bullshit. But uh, at the same time, the one shirts and the one brands that I really uh, hate that's been exploding recently is like some nigga saying, uh, simp on the shirt, uh, the other shirts that are just getting crazy and it's just getting weird. And it's like, yo, at this point, there's like one that says incel is a crazy one. There's just mad crazy ones that just be pulling out of nowhere. And it's just like, yo, chill out. <laughs> like who's actually wearing these? I actually want to know who's wearing these aside from the destroy lonely and playboy Cardi fan niggas that be trying to get edgy and they wear their replica raver balenciaga jeans and they get, i don't know who be wearing them shits but hey i ain't knocking the hustle nigga i'm just saying that shit get crazy <laughs> that shit's getting crazy nigga you got all these other niggas making bullshit breads too nigga it's getting weird it is definitely getting weird i'm not gonna lie i am here for it but at the same time i'm not nigga Brands like Marc Jacobs and the other bullshits that they just be putting out, nigga, that go hand in hand with uh, y, Y2K fashion, just tend to like make it even more enhanced of like the meme culture. Cause not every nigga's gravitating to the Y2K factor or niggas gravitating to the meme culture. There's not too many niggas that are actually sticking to the avant-garde thing. Cause now every once in a while, a nigga will find a funny shirt and tee and then wear it and put it on top of the other shit. You feel me, nigga? So it's just like, oh, move dog like i hate anti-fashion but at the same time i love it because i'm trying to be a gatekeeper nigga but at this point it is gone it is gone out of my hands and i fell off on my previous account so i have no more chokehold on the game nigga but that is about it my dear lovely niggas as you guys can see hold on <laughs> These are the next giveaways. I have to ship the last ones. I keep getting lazy. I gave it to my other nigga to ship because nigga, I just, <laughs> I be forgetting. Like, I don't care how many times a nigga DM me like, yo, uh, any chance you can ship today? Nigga, that's why I'm a scammer. You feel me? <laughs> that's why I'm a scammer, but I'm obviously gonna enjoy giving away all of these back to the community so the community can expand their fashion, do all what they want to do, wear these with some fucking uh, bay bay, half crop top do whatever the zesty shit you want with these guys this is going to be a giveaway item sued undercover look at that follow the instagram follow the spider fluids i'm pretty sure i would do a collab with that nigga for these bad boys but that has been about it guys comment rate subscribe guys for more content of course wait hold on nigga i look like the swift now <laughs> or was it again to you That is not Taylor Swift, nigga. The sun is gone, but I also wanted to quickly just add this little part in. I'm trying to make my videos shorter. I'm trying to release more content. But I don't even know how long I just be talking. I just be talking about bullshit, nigga. Like, so it's just like, yo, <laughs> I need to learn when to cut my dumb ass off, nigga. The sunlight. But anyway, guys, comment, right, subscribe, guys, for more content. Of course, I'm going to see you next one. Stop fucking with that mean shit, nigga. That's me, nigga. I don't know why y'all niggas want to be me so forever, nigga.
leave it alone, nigga. Guys, ruined my last one. <laughs>